Hey folks, today we're going to talk about some more advanced techniques. The two calls that we'll discuss today are clucks and purrs and tree calls. These are two very overlooked calls in the hunting woods. Uh, you hear a lot of people say, oh it doesn't work, I never use it. But these are two calls that I promise you will put more turkeys in the back of your truck. The cluck and purr and the tree call that we're going to do today will be done on a purr pot. Oftentimes you'll see people either using a single piece of slate or what they call a tree talker. It's just a piece of slate inside of a little piece of wood or the purr pots like we make, they're a plastic pot. But clucks and purrs. Um, <clears throat> this is a, just a standard hickory striker. You know, every person's personal preference is different. Uh, you might like hickory, you might like sassafras, you might like cedar, you might like plexiglass. But the techniques will basically be the same for all. But the way that I hold the striker is I pinch the striker with my first two fingers. And you're not really going to hold the striker uh, with a lot of pressure. You kind of want it to be able to flop between your fingers. My next finger will go behind the striker and that kind of shears it up just a little bit. You're going to hold the call with your left hand and you're going to kind of form a, a, I guess you'd call it a little cup up underneath the pot. Uh, a lot of times when you're hunting, if you put your knee together, it, it creates kind of a, a reverb, I guess you'd call it, and it makes the call too loud. But the way that I like to do it is I put the call on my right leg, holding a fairly loose finger pressure, and start in the upper one third of the pot. If you start in the middle, it's going to be a dead sound, not very realistic. So here, let's give it a try. Clucks and purrs. If you remember I said a finger pressure is very key. That time I was holding some pretty loose finger pressure. But if you're holding the striker too tight, it's almost going to sound like a woodpecker pecking on a tree. So here we go with finger pressure that's too tight. And that's what most people get when they're trying to cluck and purr. But remember, pinch your striker halfway, fairly loose, the next finger behind it. And that's all it is. But now probably the best call in the woods, is, at least in my mind, is a tree call. I kill a lot of turkeys in the morning times just with nothing but clucks and tree calls. Uh, this is a just a plexiglass striker that I picked up somewhere. And the uh, proper way to hold a striker for a tree call, or at least my way, is uh, you pinch with your, your thumb and your bird finger. Just like that, your pointing finger, you slide it up to the top. And then the fourth finger on your hand, you slide it behind the striker. All right, you're gonna hold the call the same way. You're gonna use the upper third of the striking area. And just make so small, small circles or small ovals. If you'll take these two calls that we've talked about today, the clucks and purrs and tree calls, I promise you, you'll put more turkeys in the back of your truck.